Holyoke Skate Park was constructed in 2013, located in Pulaski Park in Holyoke, funded by the previous mayor of Holyoke, Alex Morse. The park had a budget of $250,000, and the design of the park was decided at a meeting in which many local skateboarders attended to give their opinions on how to make the park accessible while also keeping the flow of the park and including obstacles for more experienced slash able-bodied skateboarders. Compared to the current state of the Northampton Skate Park, the Holyoke Skate Park has a much more supportive and diverse community of skaters, scooter riders, and bikers. Support for the skate park doesn't just come from the people who use it, but also the citizens of Holyoke who pass by the skate park while walking through Pulaski Park. I've been skating for, see, math's not my uh, best subject, but I'm 54 and I started skating around 1983, so 40, 45, 40 plus, five years, something like that. Skate park I visit the most, uh, I probably come down here more regularly just because it's close to my house. I live in Holyoke. I live right up the street here. It's like seven minutes or something. But I'm a big, big fan of Northampton pool because it's real big. It's got all pool coping. Uh, there's all good parks around here though. Agwam used to be cool. It's a little different now since they redid it. I mean, skateboarding the curb, you know? Just, it's what you make it, you know? I mean, skateboarding is the sickest thing ever, you know? Without a doubt. I've been skating for too long, <laughs> it feels like sometimes, but in I think around two and a half, three years. Uh, I visit Holyoke Skate Park. It's like a second home to me is the reason why. I, it also is like five minutes away from my house too, so that's cool. I feel conflicted about the Holyoke Skate Park. I love the community, but some things the city could do better probably not have the cops show up so often for no reason. Also, probably a Sharps container would be helpful and a water fountain. We've been pushing for those for years and they made us a misting station, which in the winter time and summer isn't really helpful since we don't want to get our clothes wet, but we want to keep skating. So a water fountain would be nice. And again, just reiterating the fact that, you know, people use heroin here unfortunately and they leave their their needles everywhere so we should probably get a sharps disposal container uh, i think the park benefits holyoke by the fact that it can make a stronger community than i've ever seen i've met so many lifelong like long friends through here like i've met so many connections through music skateboarding tattoos art it's basically just a all over great community and everybody else here is like super caring. Thanks for watching Culture Shock.